Hey, hey, this is my um, second video that I'm doing um, on Monday, but you guys will probably see this one tomorrow um, or on Tuesday. You'll see this on Tuesday, but uh, I wanted to talk, and I forgot to mention it in my previous video, so that's why I'm doing this one. Um, so I watched the interview that Jeff Burek did with, I can't and I can't remember his name, but the owner or founder of Bit Club, and a very very good interview very good interview and one thing that stuck out to me that resonated with me from that video was him talking about um, the difference between you know having the golden egg and and having the goose that actually lays the golden egg so the what he what he meant by that was that you can Bitcoin and you know Bitcoin is like the golden egg you can you can hold that and you know store it somewhere and come back to it in five ten years and you'll be well off you definitely would be well off however mine mining is is like having the goose that lays the golden egg you'll have in five ten years you'll have many 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 golden eggs and it made me start to think, and I, I would love to get your feedback on this, ladies and gentlemen, because I used to be a miner. That's how that's how I when I started in, in 2000, late 12, early 2013, <clears throat> I started buying Bitcoin, made a, made a decent amount of money uh, and reinvested that money into uh, mining equipment. And I had a little nice rig set up. If you ask John App. Uh, if you guys any of you are in the web out room you can ask him about uh, this is before he left um, left the city to go to go to where he's li actually living now to this day um, he came to my office and he saw he saw I had I had a computer just and it wasn't even really a computer it was just like a motherboard sitting on top of a file cabinet with like three GPUs floating on like above it and it was just running he's like what the hell is that I'm like man this is a mining he's like what is mining I'm like bro I'm mining a uh, Litecoin at that time Litecoin was at 55 cent and the difficulty rate was um, was fairly low uh, based on like how far the price had moved from there because at that point, 55 cent, it had moved up to like 75 cents, something like that. And the difficulty rate was still well behind it. So there's a lot of profit uh, in mining Litecoin at that time. So I was I was mining Litecoin I was, and I was in my office at that time. I had my office in a building where I didn't pay electricity. So excellent, excellent scenario. I was I was using their electricity, so it was all profits for me. So I was doing that for like a year and a half or two. Um, but then I started to grow, and I expanded, and I couldn't like it was it was so it was becoming so hot in my office that at night I would have to leave the window open just so the darn building wouldn't set on fire it was like steaming hot in that in that um in that office so i would crack the window at night and, and you know try to keep the air flowing and sometimes it would be so hot in there that my rig would would um would crash it, it would shut off you know cpus uh the actual units they have like a, a heat sensor on there and it, it it will kill switch it will just shut off if it gets too hot um, or if the the um, power supply unit, the PSU, if the power supply unit gets too hot, it will just do a kill switch and shut off. So that's what would happen. It would get so hot. But anyway, I say all that to say, I used to be in the mindset of, and after Litecoin, I started mining Dogecoin, a lot of other script coins, and um, GPU friendly token uh, coins at, at, at back then. It was a few of them, man. I, I don't even remember all of them. World coin, um, name coin. It, there, there were so many. I think name coin may have been shot 256, but there were like, oh my god, there were so many coins that I would mind. Anyway, I say all that to say th at that, like back then, it was, it was like 
free money like it was i was creating money out of thin air i was creating the good the the golden egg instead of just hodling the golden egg so i i just have a question for you guys i'm curious to know like do you guys mind i'm thinking about possibly that video that i saw with jeff berg and the founder of bit um bit club made me really think about um investing some of my funds uh, my, my cryptos into uh, getting some rigs back up and running and uh, and going from there I'm sure the game has changed since 2013 14 when I got into the uh, mining uh, mining game so if any of you miners out there let me know what what route I should go what GPUs I should use and uh, you know, I want to know: is is mining very successful for you? Um, is that you think that's a better route, or is is hodling the coins uh, the way to go? So let me know when you guys uh, see this video. Shoot me some some comments regarding that, some feedback on that. So holding the golden egg or holding the goose that lays the golden egg? I mean, I know the answer to that. You definitely the goose is what produces. You know more and more and more but my whole thing is and why I stopped before was because it became very like unprofitable for me to mine at, at a certain point um, maybe in 2015 ish like at that point I ended up actually moving my rigs at that point I had like six or seven ASICs um, that I had bought purchased from I purchased one from gall gall miners and then I purchased like a, a whole bunch from another company I can't remember the name but I had spent thousands and thousands of dollars on on, on ASICs at that point ASICs were kind of new for uh, mining on script coins and the power the the uh, electrical usage versus what the hashing power was was very favorable so i was making good money but it was so it made my home so i, I moved my rigs into my basement and in the winter it it got so hot in my basement that i didn't even have to turn on the heat the heat from the basement radiating up uh literally warmed the home um the whole winter um, but then again, like I said, it, it got uh, to the point where the electrical costs started to outstrip the uh, profits from mining. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys feel about that. I know we're going to have a nice run up going forward. So it could be a good, good um, time period for me to get back into mining because I think we'll have like a, at least a year or two um runway for profitability windows and maybe even more than that but let me know what you guys think um what are the break-even points now in mining i don't i don't know anything like is it still about if you build a rig is it about three months is it is it more is it less let let crypto blood know i want to know and I'm, I'm thinking about possibly getting back into the game so let let me know all right it's your boy crypto blood uh, one last thing before i'm out Make sure you follow me on Steemit, Instagram, and Twitter. And also um, catch me in the WebBot room. Uh, you can you can chat with me, chat with Jen uh, or the Big Big Curious Mom, John App, Mike B, and Rom Vish. We're all in there as admin, so just holler at us one, one of us or talk to the 1,600 people that we have in all three rooms or all four rooms, I should say. Um, but yeah. Check me out. It's your boy. I'm out. Holla.